Have you ever wondered whether you are a good dad or a good mom? Have you ever thought you're a bad father or a bad mother? This is Rick Serrano, executive and life coach, saying hello once again from Luxembourg. I hope you're all doing very well and keeping yourself healthy, locked at home and taking good care of yourself. Today, I will be talking to you about these issues. Frequently, we have those of us who have children ask ourselves, am I on the right track? Am I being a good dad? Am I being a good mom? And how do you know this? How could you evaluate this? Well, this is the topic of today. Thank you for joining me. Let me first give you some context as to why this is important right now. You might be telling me, yeah, you know, we're talking about the pandemic now. We're talking about coronavirus. So why do you come up with this? Well, I'll give you some context, you know. A couple of days ago, I was coaching one of my clients and he was telling me how concerned he was about this pandemic and the economic crisis and how, you know, the cash is not flowing to his company and his employees and he's losing market share and he's not selling, he's not distributing, blah, blah, blah. You know, honest concerns, really very worried about the situation. And we're discussing about this, and all of a sudden, he stops and says, you know what, Rick, you know what? In reality, what I really wonder is, am I being a good father? And I have this horrible feeling that I'm being a terrible dad. I'm not providing. I'm not providing to my kids. I'm, not, I'm, I'm simply a disaster as a father. So he started, you know, venting, and I just let him talk. He went, like, for four or five minutes telling me how bad at that he was. After a while, I, you know, gently stopped him and I said, hey, I have, I have listened to all that you have told me, but you know what? Now, now let me ask you some questions. Let me ask you some very concrete, specific questions. So you're telling me you're a bad dad. You're telling me how bad a dad you are. So let, let's review that, but let's review that objectively. Let me ask you a couple of questions to try to see whether you're really that bad. You know, in coaching, especially in life coaching, what we do is to present you with simple questions. This is not rocket science. Coaching is not a complicated matter. It's simple, direct questions. And you are invited to answer them or at least to reflect upon them to try to arrive to the answers that are inside of you. So we aim for objectivity, we aim for self-awareness, and this is what we're trying to do precisely with this situation. In the context of the pandemic coronavirus, many, many fathers, many, many mothers are concerned that they are not providing to their kids, that they are not being good fathers, good mothers. And the matter goes more complex and gets broader to asking ourselves whether we are or not being good parents. So I decided I came up with this test to try and help you go through objective questions. So let me explain you the methodology and then we get started. So I have organized this test in the following way. I have created 10 categories 10 categories. For each category, I will be asking you a couple of questions and I want you to answer very honestly, yes or no. Now, how do you answer? Listen, to, for every category, I'm going to ask you several questions. If one, at least one, the answer is yes, then you write yes for the whole category. And on the, on the other side, if all of the questions that I ask you for one category, if all of them, the answer are no, then you rank no for the category as a whole, okay? So only if one is, if one is yes, then the whole category is yes, but you need all the no's to make it a no for the category, okay? Hope this is clear. Let's get started. These 10 categories. Please grab a piece of paper, grab a piece of paper and make uh, the notes question one, question two, question three, and then start ranking yourself. Let's try to be objective, okay? Let's get it started. First category. Let's start with the very basics. So, do you provide food to your kids? 
Do they eat every day? Do they eat every day, let's say, at least three times? And is one of those meals, at least one of those meals, a warm meal? Do you provide food of decent quality, not luxury, you know, not lobster and, you know, smoked salmon from I don't know where? No, I mean, you know, do you provide good, fresh, decent food? Yes or no? Do you try to give them a balanced diet? More or less, do you try? Yes or no? If you're answering yes to one or more of the questions that I just asked, then the yes is for the whole category. If you have answered no to every single of the questions that I have just asked, then the no goes for the whole category number one. Now let's move to category number two to determine whether you're a good father or a bad father, a good mother or a bad mother. So category number two, and whenever your kid has been sick, have you tried to give him, to give her the medicines, the treatment, the vaccine, uh, according to your economical possibilities? Have you taken him or her to the doctor or to the hospital if it was an emergency? Have you tried? Have you done it most of the times? Yes or no? On to the third category to determine whether you're a good father or a bad father, a good mother or a bad mother. Okay, category number three. Do you send your kid to a school? Is your kid allowed to go to school? Not necessarily the best school in town, just a good, decent school. Or does he need to work at the local factory? Do you send your kid to work at the local factory or to the corner to sell uh, newspapers and lemonade or whatever? Or do you send him to school? If you send him to school, then it's a yes. If you don't send him, send her to school, then it's a no. On to the fourth category. Fourth category. Do you protect your kids? Do you try to protect them? you know, from violence, from crime, from uh, any sort of danger? Do you do your best to try to, you know, protect them from violence in the streets, from drugs, from bad friendships? Do you try, do you do your best so that they are protected to the relative logical extent? Yes or no? Remember, only if you answer no to all of the questions in one category can you sign as a no for the whole category. And if you have only one yes, then it's a yes for the whole category. Let's try to see now the fifth category of questions. And this is a very simple one. Uh, this requires observation. So think of your kids on an ordinary day, on an ordinary week, and answer me the following questions. Do your kids play? Does your son laugh? Does your daughter sing? At least once a day, do you see them playing, singing, laughing, behaving, you know, uh, like kids, like doing, like imitating others or making jokes or mocking somebody? Do they have fun like that? Do they have fun at all? Okay, this is category number five. Answer yes or no on your sheet of paper. Let's move to category number six to determine whether you're a bad father or a bad mother. Category number six, have you ever, have you ever sacrificed yourself in any way for your kids? For example, have you ever woke up in the middle of the night to see if your kid has fever or if she has uh, uh, some pain somewhere or have you ever uh, cleaned up a mess because uh, the, the, the kid puked the whole floor? Have you ever um, refrain from buying something from yourself so that you can buy something from, for your kid? Have you ever let him or her have that little piece of cake that was remaining on your dish and that he or she wanted it? Have you ever, uh, you know, shared the last cookie or have you ever um, given up on the last Coke on a hot summer day? Yes or no? On to category number seven. Category number seven is a very simple one, but it's a one that I have very close to my heart. Does your son 
ever draw? Does your daughter play an instrument? Do they play theater? Do they dance ballet? Do they do anything, anything artistic? Yes or no? And I'm not saying that they are the new Mozart. I'm not saying they are the new Picasso. I'm just saying, do they ever draw? Do they ever uh, play an instrument? You know, do they ever dance something? Do they ever have any sort of artistic activity? Any sort? Yes or no? On to question number eight, because I'm convinced you think you're a bad mother sometimes and you're a bad father. So category number eight, let's be objective. Have you tried, have you tried to teach your kids the value and the importance of money? Have you ever tried to teach your kids that things cost money, that things are not for free, that they need to fight for what they want? Have you ever taught them the value of things, the value of money, the value of food, the value of clothes? Have you ever um, made them value their toys, their rooms, their books, their school material? Have you ever talked about money with them? Okay, answer objectively yes or no. Now let's move on to, on to the ninth category. Ninth category, whenever your kids have done something wrong, have you taken the time to indicate them that that was wrong? Have you taken the time to correct them? Have you maybe punished them occasionally? Have you maybe even give a, you know, spanked them if the occasion was needed? Have you drawn the line between right and wrong, between the correct and the incorrect? Do you ever draw that line? Simply answer yes or no on your piece of paper. And let's move to the 10th, 10th and the last category of questions to determine if we are good parents or bad parents. Have you ever talked to your kids about the eternal, religious values or ethical values, anything transcendental? Have you spoke with them about God, about Jesus or about the universe? Have you ever uh, brought them to church or to the temple or the synagogue? Or have you ever talked to them about human values, about the institutions, about the positive things of this world, the United Nations, the European Union? Um, you know, have you ever talked about these things with them? Have you tried to instill or develop in them any sense of um, any sense of transcendence in this world? Simply answer on your piece of paper, yes or no. And that's it, that's the test. Now, let's try to grade you, let's try to grade you. Look at your piece of paper, look how many questions you have with yes and how many questions you have with no. And I'm going to be quite uh, severe in the, in the grading, I'm going to be quite severe. For example, I'm going to use the classical, um, you know, classical highway scales if you have more than, depending on the country, depending on the city, the institution, if you have more than six yeses or sometimes sevens, then you have passed the test. Then you, you know what? You're not a bad father. You're not a bad mother. Let me try to use another scale. For example, the University of, uh, of Cambridge in the UK, uh, you know, one of the most respected institutions worldwide, arguably the second best university on earth. If you go to Cambridge, it is enough that you have 41% approved to get the degree, to pass the course. So I ask yourself, do you have more than four, more than four yeses on your piece of paper? Okay. I can imagine your answer. I can imagine your answer. Now, if you are getting this objective number, because this is an objective number, this has been a test, called test, yes or, yes or no. And if you are getting the grade that I know you're getting, why do you keep judging yourself? I beg you, stop judging yourself and start enjoying your parenthood. Stop 
judging yourself so harshly, start enjoying your kids. Stop judging yourself and start enjoying life. Life is about happiness. Life is about enjoying your kids. You have kids. Love them. Enjoy them. Pass time with them. Spend time with them. Remember, no kid on earth, when she or he grows up, they will not, they will not complain because you did not you did not give them enough money or enough luxuries. If at all, they will complain because you did not spend sufficient time with them, you were not close to them, you were not listening, but not because of luxuries, not because of what you materially provide. The, the, the framework is much more complete. It covers at least these 10 categories, and I'm sure you're making a terrific job in most of them, in most of them, and that is enough. So start enjoying your parenthood. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you're doing. Stop judging. Well, this is it. I hope uh, this has been useful. If you have the feeling that there are areas where you can improve, I invite you to review the 10 categories and focus there where you are maybe weaker. Try to create a plan. Try to create a plan. There's a lot that you can improve, of course. The room for improvement for all of us is enormous. I personally have four kids and I have a lot to improve, I'm sure. But, you know, the point is, don't judge yourself and create a plan, a very basic plan, according to the areas where you need to be stronger. If you are interested in delving into more detail, you can contact me. There's my website right there. You can contact me. I will be happy to go with you through a more detailed analysis and we can together draft a plan if this is useful. Well, that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you think it's useful, please do share and please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, this has been Rick Serrano, Executive and Life Coach from Luxembourg. I hope you're having a great time and taking advantage of this opportunity that COVID-19 is giving you to stay at home and to reflect upon the important things of life. These are the important topics of life. So do take quality time for these kind of reviews and do take quality time to start, to start thinking, where do I want to be when this pandemic is over? What kind of person do I want to be when this finishes? Because it will finish, it will finish. Okay, enough for today. Thank you very much. Rick Serrano from Luxembourg. Take good care. Stay healthy, please. Stay healthy.